make sure that my yours channel about this. I think he was a 17 year old kid, a 17 or 18 year old kid who was gunned down. Uh, I think by two or three assailants. There was one particular was the main gunman that my understanding. And he uh, was in the courtroom, the guy who did, did the murder. The kid was uh, he was, brought, he was biracial. Um, his mom was white. And his dad was black. Um, but he was brought up in a single parent home by his mom. The young dude, or whatever the fuck he was, excuse my French, this, it, this, this pisses me off. He sat up in the courtroom just, just a grinning and smiling. And he had the most spaced out look. I know, I know he wasn't crazy because he knew he was doing when he shot that young man and killed him after he robbed him, which I think was fucked up. You know, real fucked up. It's real, it real tragic because they said the young man, I mean, they said he was a high school graduate. He was getting ready to go to college. You know, and things were looking up for him until some young punks, you know, decided to cut his life short for no reason. But the guy who, I guess the main henchman who was, who was behind the, the murder, he was just in the courtroom just, just as casual and jovial and just smiling and grinning like, like nothing happened. And then when he got to, uh, to speak, he wanted to speak, and all that he had to say was, uh, he was a, giving a uh, shout out, rest in peace to one of his homies. And then told me, I love my family, I'll be out soon. And that's a, pretty much a direct quote. That's all he said. He didn't say anything about feeling any remorse for what happened to the, the to the uh, to the to the young man that he that he murdered, or to a, or to the young man's mom. Nothing. I said that's pretty damn fucked up. And he, and, the, and all the while this nigga and this yeah I said nigga because that's what this motherfucker was. He was a fucking nigga. There's the difference between black people and niggas. This motherfucker was an absolute 100% mama boy raised nigga. That's what he was, and I meant that. You know, he looking around, all buckeyed and shit, smiling and grinning. You know, that's the real coon. Hey, Y'all talking about Tommy? This motherfucker was coon central. And apparently he was raised by one because he, he, he was an ain't shit little motherfucker. You know, to sit there and do that. And he, he just like, he didn't have a care in the world. The judge said at one point, he, he he was he was so upset at that young man's behavior, he was going to go ahead and just uh, take it to trial. But the family of the victim decided they didn't want to go to trial. I wish they went on, you know, took 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 took, took that boy to try and, and fried this 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 young man. This young man had no he had no goddamn common sense at all, and you could see it. He was a fucking idiot. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I was so mad, I wanted to go through the, to, through, through my damn uh, tablet and punch that motherfucker in his face. I really did. If they gave me the opportunity, I probably would have. No. I'd have broke every bone in his mouth. But, and that's how, that's how much, that's how, that's how angry I was about what he did to that young man. You know, it just brings me to uh, the topic about why women cannot and never will raise boys to be men better than a man. I know I've said it before. I'll say it again and again and again. And you know why? Number one, women don't know how to be a man. Okay? She can never be a man. You can't sit there and, and, and say, oh yeah, she can raise. And I heard women say, I said, are you fucking kidding me? You don't even provide the same scenarios for the young man like you would a woman. Being a mother. There's no way. There's no way. Nah. It, 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 what really tripped me out is all these women, our black women, they're so anxious and they're so wanting to be of independent of anything to do with men. This is part of the problem right there. That they don't even they don't even want 
to have their boys raised by men. They want to be the one to just raise them wholeheartedly. I mean, I got their best interest, and half of y'all don't. You know? It's it's a shame. It's a crime. It's sad. It really is sad. You know? And I see this bullshit over and over and over again in the news, man. Constantly being played out every single day. You know? And talk about y'all uh, nothing like a mama's love. Yeah, right. When, when you're being raped by both mama and daddy. Please. Please. Really? I just... It, it, you know, it, it, it breaks my heart every time I hear about these situations where young men be getting killed by some old dumbass niggas over some fucked up ass bullshit. Excuse my French. Because black people don't do this. Black men don't do this to other black men. Only niggas do shit like this to black men and women. You know? That's the bottom line. I would never... Anybody who does that to another uh, to a black person I no longer f- refer to them as black people I refer to them as niggas I'm sorry and I don't use that term often and I try not to use it at all if at all to be honest because because I'm going to tell you the truth the N word is really a dirty word it's as dirty of a word as it is called a Jew or Kai or uh, a Chinese person Chink or a Japanese person Jap. it's just as dirty you know Really, frankly, I think it's dirtier. You know? Because, to be frank, chink and jap, which are derogatory words in them, but definitely uh, chink and jap, they are short for Chinese and Japanese, although they're wrong. They're still wrong. You know? Whereas, Niggas refer to a specific uh, s- set of people, particularly uh, they always refer to African American people. You know, it ain't a sh- that's not a nickname. That's a derogatory name. Period. You know, and like I said, I only use that in terms of people who who, who are at the detriment to our communities. That's the only reason I use it. I don't use it for no other term than that anymore. I, I stop using it on the regular like that. You know, but I want to explain myself before I do use it because I don't use it, you know, just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. No. Now as a rap lyric, not as a rap lyric, not as a term of endearment, nothing close to that, period. You know, I wish we would wake up and realize we need to start getting ourselves right before we start making these other plans like having kids out of wedlock and stuff because we go about everything all wrong but as soon as we try to talk to somebody about it oh no don't tell me this I'm grown I'm this I'm that I know what I'm doing I don't need you to tell me what to do same song and dance until they get in trouble they be like spot on your man, you know, we're too busy uh, uh, depending on each other, man, way too much, way, our community, it's like all the time, you know, it's like that all the time, not some of the time, not, the way, not most of the time, almost all the, all of the time anymore, you know, it's 2017, people. It really is. It's, it's just, and it's a crime in itself where we sit there and always go around and talk about each other and fighting over dumb shit or, you know, shooting each other over, over some old punk shit because you ain't grown up to, to be mature enough to handle real situations without going through all of that. It's always something. Always something.
that's all I got to say right now. I just wanted to get that out of my system and get something on my chest and give you a little something to chew on. All right? That's all I got to say. It's DJ Wolf. I'm out.